Hi, Jeff Garber, Loan Officer with Gateway Funding. Today is October 7th, 2013, and it's also day 7 of the government shutdown. And I apologize for speaking fast, but I made you a little PowerPoint, and I just wanted to explain what's going on so that you can understand this and share this with anybody who you think may benefit. So here we go. Right now, we got the simple explanation for what's going on. we got two issues at hand here. Number one, the government shutdown, which is going on now. And number two, we have what's called the debt ceiling. And we need to reach an agreement on that by October 17th, which is in seven days from now. So, the government shutdown. What's going on? We have Obama versus Boehner, who is the Speaker of the House of Representatives. And what happens is the government's fiscal year runs October 1st through September 30th. And each year, Congress has to pass what's called a continuing resolution to allow the government the spending that they need to continue running. Well, usually this happens, and it happens every year, and sometimes Congress tries to get other items passed at the same time. They try and tie in some other bills that they want, and usually that goes through and we don't even know about things. Well, this time we have the extremist Republicans, also called the Tea Party, and they want the resolution to pass, but they want to make changes to Obamacare as part of this resolution. So they're kind of holding us hostage, or at least holding Obama hostage in, in saying that if you don't make changes to Obamacare, then we're not going to pass the resolution. And at the same time, Obama doesn't want to negotiate anything to do with Obamacare in this resolution, but he's willing to talk about that at a later time. Um, so this is the stalemate that we're facing. But this is the small fish in the big pond. All right, the big fish is the debt ceiling. So what is the debt ceiling? Well, the debt ceiling is the limit on what the U.S. can borrow, okay? And we reach this limit on October 17th. If we don't get this raised, which usually is, is a vote and Congress passes the amount of money that they can raise it to, we'll default on all of our payments, all right? Well, what does that mean? It's kind of like the debt-to-income ratios that we use in the lending. So if you're at a 45% debt-to-income ratio, you may not qualify for the loan. Well, pretend right now that the government's approaching that 45% debt ratio. Well, they're not going to qualify to borrow either. Only the benefit the government has is they can get theirs raised so that their debt ratio is lowered, where we can't do that. Or, or if we can't pay our bills, we default. If the government can't pay their bills, they get the debt limit raised. Now, if the U.S. does default on our debt, meaning if the limit isn't raised, this will be very bad for the country. It will affect the stock market, the bond market, um, it'll cause a recession and probably a global recession on top of all of that. And here's the solutions. Well, number one, we could raise taxes to create more income so we can pay our bills, but the Republicans don't want that. We can cut spending, which includes Obamacare, but we already know the Democrats don't want that. Or we can compromise, which will more than likely occur, but who knows these days. So where we're at is hopefully by the 17th, all of this is ended. The government shutdown and the debt ceiling limit is raised. If it's not, it's just going to be really bad for the country moving forward. So as usual, I will keep you up to date, and I hope this helped explain some, uh, some of the information a little bit. Thanks. Have a great day.